So Paul, tell us about this new work that you've been doing on the bubble top. Okay, so what we were trying to figure out is the way to incorporate an existing bubble shape that we have, and it would simplify the whole process. So I started to section the bubble, that's why we've got fiberglass mock-up pieces and some black sand pieces. And then I sort of discovered that we're trying to get air into the, the cockpit as well. So I kind of like this new design look where it's like layered. It puts the door glass over the top of the windshield and that'll provide airflow when I, I'll fabricate some vents to, to fit in this cavity. That way then it's ventilated on the interior where you can just come straight up. I just like the appearance, you know. You might argue that the streamline would be better, but I like this. Because Bill Cushenberry never got this far, we don't really know what his final intention was gonna be. As far as he got on it, he did have a windscreen and he had these two uh, uh, gold wing doors with glass, so he had cut the bubble. I think this, this slight airflow gap matches further down the hood, you'll see we've got these little raised sections. So this cavity and this cavity, they kind of tie together when you look at it visually. So it's like a, you know, it blends. This is, coincides with this. It's kind of like a bigger version. I think it just kind of finishes the look of the front, gives it a little more aggression. This is the first time in the history of this car that it has been, uh, that has had a, an actual bubble, a completed, well, it's not completed, but so we can see exactly the contours of it with both gull wing doors built and working. This car is now getting ready to go to Wonderworks where they're going to install the new interior. Paul and I here are gonna take it down there tomorrow. See you in the morning. Thanks, man.